dignitaries and all the pa my co-panelists and all of you, good morning. Um, thank you, uh, special thanks to Suraksha Mahasav and the CEO, Exilink Space Labs. Uh, so uh, we, we are into the space domain, we are like, developing the technology that actually like, you know, um, uh, maps for the use cases, what we are going after under the defense as well as the civilian applications. So we have the dual purpose technology being developed and that's what we're going to showcase today. Um, so uh, as we all see today how that geopolitical you know, situation is uh, shaping up and like how dynamically it's playing out, um, I would like to start with like you know very popular uh, saying that like you know there are no permanent friends, there are no permanent enemies, but there are always common uh, interests. So similarly, India has clearly like you no know, identified, so identified like you know the best interest that works for India and like you no know, we uh, and and playing uh, our in cost in the right way to strategize and strengthen the capabilities to actually like, you know, uh, um, address the countermeasures and also like, you know, uh, bring in this uh, indigenous, indigenation in terms of like, you know, defending and also like, you know, uh, innovating to the lead the, you know, the evolution in the technology. So this leads us to like an emerging warfare strategy called multi-domain operations where like and apart from the land water and the sea so we have like you know the cyber and space domains are playing a significant you know uh, roles in like you know strategy in, in, in bringing in the strategy in, in terms of like you know addressing the security and defense uh, establishments so we at uh, XD links uh, we have we are actually like you know uh, working on developing the platforms that have the relevant domain where like we have that like you know the the continuous monitoring without like you know, having any any issues with the endurance and the the you know the limitations with the the time which which we can operate so what we are developing in uh, with XA links to you know have that like you know bring in that surveillance and reconnaissance capability to host various uh, sensors and payloads um, Right from like you know photon, the photon sensing and the uh, microwave driven uh, payloads, to bring in that complete stack, the entire ISR and various um, orbits as well as like you know various you know altitudes, that actually like you know brings in this completeness of the solution, integrating between space and the terrestrial operations with connecting with the UAV. So we are primarily working on like you know building this uh, solutions towards like you know integrating the ISR capability multi-orbit SATCOM grid, and also like, you know, exploring and beyond space, deep space, where like, you know, we're going after the cislunar, uh, leveraging our platforms qualified to those domains. So under Atnirbharan, the Nirbharata, in increase of capabilities and capacity, we at Exilinks are committed to support this vision by facilitating all the categories of space assets, covering use cases like ISR, SATCOM, PNT network, and the SSA, and then in orbit service and uh, maintenance uh, operations. So far, uh, as a company, Exilinks, so we, we are we are about 300 years old company. So we are about 140 people in a team. So so far, we launched two satellites, uh, uh, from uh, one from India and one from US, and we are actually um, scheduled to launch 24 satellites, combining. Uh, Uh, commercial you know entities to bring in this like ability to like, enhance the uh, Indian um, you know space utilization and bring in the more assets see as as I see like the things the industry shaping up the world is kind of more moving the way I see like you know we, at least the way we see is the economy uh, the 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 power of the economy of any nation as we see like you know in the in the in the future and the coming days is going to be determined based on like you know how many uh, space assets are going to be owned and operated by any nation because like you know the fundamental of space is nobody owns space so like there is no uh, restriction limitation in terms of like you know leveraging the space putting the assets so like the idea is to like you know maximize 
the uh, utilizing the space uh, to to the extent to bring in the capability to actually like you know bring in the surveillance and also like you know improve the agility in terms of operating and also like uh, going uh, bring in countermeasures uh, and, and and you know uh, to to counter the you know the the threats being posted by the uh, you know um, the neighbors so our strategy is to leverage the the strategy what we are actually adopting is space being like you know um, pretty uh, interesting but like you know there are no much volumes in the space sector so the idea is the ask from the space sector what we are focusing is leveraging the the advancements primarily from automotive and the consumer electronics where like you know the chips and the all the you know the processor ecosystem to actually improve the 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 agility we're trying to like bring in the those those technology developed in the neighboring industry space qualify leverage them and bring in that kind of a dynamism and the you know agilities i'm um, i'm very excited to be here um, me being um, born and raised from vishakhapatnam i studied in uh, in vishakhapatnam and uh, really like um I joined the ISRO uh, back in uh, back in those days and I moved on and I worked with uh, companies like Pratt and Whitney aircraft engines and then applied it and then I joined as a, one of the founding members with a company called back then Space Startup Planet Labs where we uh, built and launched hundreds of satellites to bring in the surveillance to bring in that like you know to Sanjay for uh, having me here and also thanks to Swaraksha also team and uh, having me here and my team to uh, um, bring in and like showcase our capabilities thank you to stay informed about the startup ecosystem subscribe to my startup tv